Officials in Tiga Cay looking to crack down on deer overpopulation in the area. A new municipal ordinance outlaws the feeding of wild animals as the community is grappling with deer overcrowding. Now, some neighbors in the community are worried they can be reported for just having a deer in their backyard. Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg verifies. It was this post from a Tiga K resident on social media that caught our eye. It says, we live in a town where a neighbor can falsely accuse another neighbor of being in violation of a municipal code just because deer are standing in their yard. So the question, can you get fined in Tiga K for having deer in your backyard? To get answers, we went to the city of Tiga K and looked at the ordinance itself. The deer population in Tiga K continues to be a problem. In a survey by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, over 800 deer were spotted within Tiga K's city limits. The department says that's more than nine times as many deer as you'd expect in an area that's not even five square miles. To help with the problem, Ordinance 573 was passed in December. It states no person shall purposely feed or make food available for consumption consumption by wildlife on private or public property within the city. And it requires the removal of any device or materials placed on the owner's property in violation of the law, like feeders and etc. In an email, the city's clerk said the Tiga K Police Department is enforcing the ordinance. However, no fines have been assessed to any individual for violating the ordinance. We asked, what if deer are just standing in your yard? The clerk emailed us to say persons who have deer roaming in their backyard are not in violation of any city ordinance and have not been fined. So we can verify that no, you cannot get fined in Tiga K for having deer in your backyard. However, you are not allowed to feed wildlife. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. If you have something you would like verified, email us at verify at wcnc.com.